great to see so many people here today. And there are compelling reasons why we have to be here. And the first is to send a very clear message to Tony Blair, who just a few days ago said he had nothing to apologize for in Iraq. He said he took no responsibility for what happened in Iraq. He said he was proud of the intervention. And so I think our message is, this is a man who does not represent us or our country. This is a man blinded, blinded by arrogance and self-delusion. This is a man who should be tried for war crimes at the International Court of the Hague. Tony Blair doesn't seem to care very much about the casualties in Iraq. The tens of thousands of people who are dying, their deaths so commonplace now that they are on the edges of our newspapers at the end of our TV bulletins. But we're here to say that we remember them as individuals with friends and families who miss and mourn them. We are here to say that each and every one of their lives is just as valuable and just as precious as a British life or an American life. But our own troops are themselves suffering increasing losses, and the reward they get from our government is a new Armed Forces Act that came into law last year, which will make it a criminal offence to opposed military occupation of a foreign country. And so our message is this, that it's not soldiers who should be criminalized and imprisoned for refusing an illegal war, it's their political leaders, Bush and Blair, who should be indicted for crimes against humanity. And so we demand an end to the occupation of Iraq. We demand that the troops be brought home now. And now we have the build-up against Iran. And if it all feels horribly familiar, that's because it is. Once again, we have the unsubstantiated reports of weapons of mass destruction, the ratcheting up of war hysteria. Once again, we have the demonization of a whole nation, the fabrication of web of deceit and lies. Once again, we have the collusion of Bush and Blair over oil and gas. But let's be very clear, there is actually one country out there that does have a dangerous, unmonitored, provocative nuclear arsenal in the Middle East. And right now that country is not Iran, it is Israel. And it is Israel that should be condemned. And so our message then today is that we will keep being here until we free Palestine, until we get the truth out of Iraq, until we have peace across the Middle East. Thank you.